In this video, we're gonna look at a way we can brighten the shadows of this photo using a simple adjustment layer like brightness and contrast. So if I just add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and increase the brightness, you can see that it is brightening up your entire photo, whereas I just wanna target the shadows. So typically we target the shadows in a few different ways. We can say duplicate the background layer here, control or command J, and I've got to the image menu, adjustments, shadows and highlights. And then you can target the shadows through this amount slider here and play around with the tone and radius. But I actually want a way to uh, clearly see the areas that uh, we are targeting. So perhaps with like a, a strong, like a bright colored overlay to visually see what areas uh, we're trying to brighten. So another way we can target the shadows is go into the select menu, down a color range. And the good thing about the color range uh, settings here is that we can kind of get a snapshot. We can visually see through this bright color, uh, the area that we're targeting with the selection. So if you change the selection preview to quick mask, you'll get this, um, you'll get the areas display in red. And you can adjust the range here to target uh, different tonal ranges in your photo and also play around with the fuzziness to increase uh, the softness of that selection. So if I click OK, uh, that creates a selection and then we can apply that to say the brightness and contrast adjustment layer here. So it's been applied to the mask here. So if you hold down Alt or Option and then click on this mask, you can see that it has applied that selection to the mask. But we need to invert this mask because currently it is going to be brightening up the the highlights, okay, so the areas in white here and ignoring everything in black. So I'll just hit Control or Command I to invert that mask. So now this adjustment layer is targeting everywhere in white. Okay, so now if I increase the brightness here, it is brightening up the shadows. But the problem with this method is that if I want to change the selection, I have to go through that process again of just deleting this layer mask, go up to the select menu, down a color range and playing around with this range setting here and the fuzziness to get the exact selection that I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and delete this adjustment layer and create a new one, brightness and contrast. And this time I'm gonna double click on the layer and we're gonna apply a color overlay here. And you just wanna select a bright color so you can clearly see the area that we're gonna be targeting. And you can adjust the opacity here to uh, see your photo underneath. So I'm gonna click OK. Next what you wanna do is double click on the layer again. And down the bottom here, under underline layer in the blend if section, you wanna drag this point here to the left. And you see, as I do that, it's starting to remove anything within this uh, luminosity range in the layers below. So we're only gonna, be, only gonna be targeting this area that we define between the two markers here. So if I drag this to the left, you can see that we are now just targeting really dark areas in our photo. If I drag this to the right, it starts to include more of the luminosity range. Okay, so because I want to take the shadows, I can just adjust this to wherever I like. And to remove this hard edge, you want to hold down Alt or Option and click on this marker. That'll separate it. And it just creates a really nice smooth transition. So you can adjust these to get the level of smoothness that you like. And then I'll click OK. So now if we hide the color overlay here and we go inside and adjust the brightness, we're now targeting the shadows or the area that we defined here in the underline, set, underline layer section. So if we now turn the color overlay back on and we want to adjust the area again, we can adjust these handles. And because we've got that color overlay on, we can clearly see what areas we're targeting. So now we can do the exact same, but control the brightness of the highlights. So let's firstly rename this to shadows. And let's turn off the color overlay for a moment. I'm gonna duplicate this layer, Control or Command J, rename this to highlights. Let's turn the color overlay on for this one. Let's change the color to a red. Let's change to red, okay. Now I'm gonna double click on this layer and under the underlying layer section, let's now target the highlights. So let's drag this marker to the right and holding down older option, click to separate them and let's create a smooth blend here. Click OK. So now we can clearly see the area that this adjustment layer is going to be targeting in red. If I turn the shadows one on, so you can see the two areas now that these are individually targeting. So I could turn the color overlays off for the moment. And I can just go into the highlights here. Let's say I can I can lower the brightness in the highlights here. I can go into the shadows. I can play around with the shadow brightness here. 
and you can follow that same process to target any luminosity range in your photo. So you can create another one for the midtones if you wanted. So to do that, I can just hold down Alt or Option, drag up, make a copy. Three names, one midtones. Uh, we can create a separate color for the midtones. Let's go. Yeah, double click, and then you can sort of adjust these handles here to target the midtones in your photo. And you can just experiment with the position of these handles. So you can clearly see the midtone range is here in purple. Okay, we can increase the range here if we wanted to. Click OK, turn off color overlay into the midtones here, and then we can adjust the brightness of the midtones. You can apply the same technique to other adjustment layers such as curves, levels, or exposure. So let's create a curves uh, adjustment layer here, and we'll drag this to the top. Now what I want to do here is copy all the settings from the shadows up to the curves because I want to brighten the shadows on this curves adjustment layer. So I'm going to select shadows, right click, copy layer style, up to curves, paste layer style. Now if I turn on the color overlay, you can see that this is the area we're going to be targeting green. But this time I want to reduce the amount of highlights that we're targeting so you can see that there is some green over the highlights. So I'm going to double click on this layer and I'm going to adjust the settings here to reduce the amount of highlights that we are going to be uh, brightening. Click OK, turn off color overlay. Now when I go into the curves here and adjust these settings, uh, I am targeting specifically the shadows and I don't need to worry about any crossover with the highlights at all. So give this an eager try. It gives you really great control over how you brighten specific tonal ranges in your work. And using the color overlay method, you're able to quickly see the exact area where these adjustment layers are targeting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.